Alright, I'm sure you all know the drill at this point. New day, new creepypasta. This time, we're going for... Kate the Chaser. Now, unfortunately, I don't... This is a new creepypasta that I found... Apparently, she's from the game Slender the Arrival. So, since I don't know that much about her, I don't want to waste too much time on this intro. Let's get into it. Alright, so now we're diving into the backstory of Kate the Chaser. And like I said in the intro, is this is a creepypasta that I recently found out about. And apparent, uh, she's from a game called Slender the Arrival. But turns out she's also the playable, uh, the character that you play as in Slender 8 Pages, both of which I still need to play at some point. Kate the Chaser. Oh, what the heck is this? Are you scared? That's actually this. That's actually a pretty decent uh, name right there. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. Kate the Chaser, last name believed to be Melons or Hayes, is the secondary antagonist in Slender: The Arrival and the unseen protagonist in Slender: The Eight Pages. Kate is the albeit unseen player controlled character in Slender the Eight Pages. According to Slender the Arrival, Kate and her friend CR had a habit of going into the forest frequently as children, flashlight in hand, that's why the player starts with the flashlight in the beginning of the game. They would spook themselves on purpose for fun. According to one of the notes, at some point he got lost in the dark hearing Kate screaming. He eventually got lost and wound up at Kate's house where she was sitting in the living room. CR tried to get her attention but failed to do so and went home. Huh. From Kate's perspective, she was chased around the forest by Slenderman as she found notes on various landmarks. I keep saying it, at some point I need to play Slender 8 Pages. It's just like, I can't find it on Steam. I might as well just see if I can find it on Chrome. I'm just, I'm just dumb. Slender the Arrival, Kate has multiple appearances in the game between the 8 pages and the Arrival, she appears to be in her late teens to early 20s. Before the setting of the game, Kate and her friend CR always went out ghost hunting in the woods. They would hallucinate things and start running back to Kate's house. A few years later, Kate was found with a broken video camera, flashlight, and a stash of weird drawings. She was soon taken to a psychiatric ward and had tests done on her. She tried to explain to the doctors, but they would not believe her. A couple of years after the traumatizing experience, Kate was considered stable and sent back to her home. She spent her time with her mother, who soon passed away due to unknown reasons. Kate soon began seeing Slender Man again and started to draw him more and more often. Oh boy. That's not good. Kate was also close friends with Lauren during their childhood, and the two of them would always play on the swing set outside her house. This is what prompts Lauren into investigating Kate's disappearance in the first place, which ultimately places her in mortal danger as the Slender Man starts attempting to kill her. Wow. A video in Chapter 4 flashback shows Kate drawing Slender Man and muttering that he's here. She tried her best to barricade the doors, but she soon found sl But she soon found Slenderman already inside the house and desperately tried to escape to her room. Slenderman was right behind her and as soon as she saw him appear in her room, she is either thrown out of her closed window by Slenderman or she leaps through it as a last ditch effort to escape. The tape ends with Lauren baffled. 
In the exact day that the game takes place, Kate runs to the woods after fleeing from the video, but in vain as she was caught by Slenderman. She shrieked as loud as she could, making Lauren hear her from a distance. Lauren races to where the screen Kate was, only to find nothing and be stranded near Oakside Park, where Lauren is then captured and teleported to various locations. Chapter 6, Genesis, added in version 1.3, is a flashback that confirms that Kate is the person in the original Cylinder to 8 Pages game. Well, that's one heck of a start to the backstory, I'll say that. Kate is soon found in the Coleman mining shafts chasing Lauren. At this point, Kate has become a proxy to Slender Man known as the Chaser. It is unknown what happened to her, but she now seems feral and wears a mask and has a black substance around her eyes and mouth with very pale skin, possibly due to residing in the mines. Her hoodie and hands are also heavily stained with blood. It is unknown whose blood it is. It appears that her eyes are very sensitive to light. She gets dazed when Lauren concentrates her flashlight's beam towards her face. She also appears to snarl and growl. She keeps chasing Lauren until Lauren finally gets on the elevator and escapes. In Chapter 5, The Arrival, after Lauren gets knocked out by a proxified Charlie Matheson Jr., Lauren wakes up in a room with him. After collecting a book, Charlie disappears and the crying of Kate is heard. Lauren's fi Lauren finds a normal Kate, unmasked and unhooded, as well as looking badly burned, crying in a corner. Lauren approaches Kate, only for her to turn back into the chaser and presumably kill Karen. The last shot of the game shows Lauren's limp body being dragged away by either Charlie, Slenderman, or Kate. Ugh. Wow. She is very sensitive to light. In Slender the Arrival, right-click to blind your foe. Yep. She was created by Blue Isle Studios for the video game Slender the Arrival. Here's a link to a walkthrough of the game. Boop. Yeah, that link right there. Her birthday is on June 25th, 1995. Alright. Okay. Kate's last name is either Melons or Hayes. Her email is kmillens at beserve.adv.co that could mean Kate Millens. Also, her mother's name is Beth Hayes. However, it could also mean that Beth is possibly her stepmother. She's rumored to appear in an upcoming game known as The Chaser, which continues from Slender the Arrival which shows Lauren's fate after being attacked by Kate. The game is rumored to come out June 26, 2020. All information about this game is shown here. Here's the thing though. It was rumored to come out June 26, 2020. But this article could have been made before the whole coronavirus pandemic and we don't know if it actually came out on time or not. All right, so obviously we have this picture right here of uh, Kate the Chaser. And here, uh, obviously there's the original picture right there. This is the first time I've seen this piece right here. Uh, honestly? Honestly, that doesn't look that bad. Okay, I'm assuming this is probably from the game. Cause this looks this looks like uh too like this looks very graphic wise to the arrival game compared to actually drawing. Why is there a picture of Jeff just randomly sitting in here? What the heck? What is this picture? Right oh, it's like a... This picture right here is kind of like a biography. This one does... Okay, this one does say Kate Millens. Hold on. Hold up for a second, hold up. 
Name, Kate Millens. She's 20, 5'4", 110 pounds. She, her, birth date, June 25th. Always watches, no eyes. Yep, yep. Yeah, here it is. Kate would always play in the forest with her friend as children with a flashlight in hand, spooking each other for fun. One day, Kate's friend, CR, got lost and wound up back at Kate's house where she was found sitting in the living room. Yep, that's from the backstory. Went home. But soon her mother passed away. Yeah, this this is all like stuff that we already covered in the backstory. I think, but I think out of these, I feel like this one right here would technically be my favorite out of them all. Hey you, yes you, behind the camera. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Hey, this entire month of October 2022, there's going to be one creepypasta video a day throughout the entire month. So, if you don't want to miss the chance of catching the next one being uploaded, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell for notification. And if you really liked this video, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. Put a comment down below, tell me what you thought of it. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.